all right youtube what is going on today going back in with the game two not game two but another game of skull servants again and we lost the rock paper scissors sadly and our opponent's going to be going first and as you see his name is trick stars and i believe that's exactly what he is playing so you see my hand is very terrific we top decked a gofu which made it even better because now we can go into a deco talker we can even just use a link spider we can go into a multitude of things we can do a multitude of things because this hand is very spicy very good man the gofu top deck there yeah, that that shit was really good <laughs> that shit was a really good uh, so here we go we're going to do the link spider play to go into the deco talker and I'm asking him if it's good because a lot of people just like to, uh, I mean, it is kind of lagging. So I don't want, you know, to for it to be, uh, I do all these plays. And then he says, wait, I have a response or something. So I definitely asked. So here I was contemplating, do I normal summon Unizombie into a Duco, into right there. So Deco Target can negate like an MST or a Cyclone or a Twin Twister or something like that. I was like, man, that it, it, it seems good. I was like, fuck, what's the odds of this man actually having a back row removal? Um, I was like, ah, so I end up going against it, and my intuition actually turns out to be correct. I actually turns out to be correct because he chained, I believe. No, actually, no, he ash blossomed. So that's what happened. Okay, I was thinking, I was like, I, I knew he negated it, but I just, I thought he like twin, tw uh, not twin twister, but I thought he did something to it. So here I go. I normal summon the Unizombie, and I'm thinking, do I send, uh, I was thinking to, to send Prince also, and then he said, and then I decide to discard the Shadal Beast out of my hand so I can get a, uh, so I can get a draw and do some damage and then send Beast, I mean, then send, uh, Prince, and then, uh, <clears throat> pretty much, uh, go on from there, and then I, t I then I draw into a, uh, uh, a used Beast effect to, uh, draw the Zombie Master, so now I go straight to attack, just do a couple of damage, and bam, get hit with a blazing goddamn rare force. Doesn't that suck? Jesus Christ. Jesus is right, busted. But, um, so yeah, man, go ahead and take 1800. And man, that card actually seems a, a, a bit of good to be playing right now. Um, mirror forces are actually going to be seeing a very, uh, a very big resurgence because, uh, links, uh, have to be in the attack. So that's always, it's always, um, it's always live and as you can see top decking another brilliant fusion it is just it is going my way man as you can see we can probably as you can see but if we could definitely get some things going right now what we're going to do i believe is send trick clown or white princess uh no i do send trick clown white princess might have been better in hindsight because then i can use zombie master to get the white princess and you know continue from there so but I do use the Trick Clown. I do use the Trick Clown to go ahead and get that back out. Uh, but I can also you just use the Zombie Master to get a uh, to get the Unit Zombie back, and then that's just another double Omega play. But I believe that uh, we do play it, so I'm using the extra normal summoning for the Zombie Master. And since I do have Pot of Inquisitiveness, we can definitely just go ahead and get a Prince to the graveyard, and then um, just use it to get another King of the Skull Servants out. And then use that okay. use the king of the skull Star i mean then and then um bring out a king of the skull servants and then pot of equipment of all the cards back to get a free draw so i use unizombie's effect to target the trick clown and uh and uh, you know what i i possibly should have used the um i should have did the play i was you know i'm saying now definitely should have went just double omega that would have been very great but we are playing Skull Servants, and what's a Skull Servant deck if you're not going to use some Skull Servants? So that's what I opted to do, because I felt like that was the better play at the time for some reason. Um, and then I, I used Prince's Effect right there, so do it and dump. And like I said, I'm going to be doing the Pot of Inquisitive play. I believe I stopped here for a second because I was ta actually uh, talking to somebody, so... Uh, you guys are going to see me pause for a minute, but I'm going to get back into it. Uh, just give me a second. But yeah, so I'm, I'm going to do the Pot of Inquisitor play because at that time, I, I thought it was the you know the best play to do. I mean, but you can go Double Omega, man. Double Omega is just you know the best play to do. I could have hit him with 31 and then went Double Omega. So he would have been down to 31, and then I would have had two Omegas on the board. 
and I'm pretty sure the game would have pretty much been over after that. So I use this print I use Prince Effect to banish three to special summon the King of the Skull Servants from my deck. I uh, finally got back into the game. As you can see, I was top decking Shadow Fusion. Then two cards, and then another card, two cards later, would have been the the, uh, the grass. So we're going to put these three back to go ahead and get a free draw because that's just easy money. This is real easy money. Um, we have to figure out a way to get some links back in it. You know what? I think they're going to come out like a, a pot of average for links. Then I top deck the Mizuki, and I still have a normal summon yet. So that's that's just good. And uh, now I can still now I can do all my plays because I do have the Mizuki. So we're going to attack for a thousand, attack for thirteen, attack for eighteen, and attack for seventeen hundred. And I believe we, uh, uh, I think we that yeah that's that I think that's it because I think I got Scarlight after this. Yeah, he's under four hundred. Scarlight, Scarlight is uh, oh no we don't play Scarlight in here. That's that's what happened. That's what happened. We do not play Scarlight in here, folks. That is something that I definitely... I don't know what the hell I did. This is the funniest shit I've seen. I don't know what I did. I, I guess I, I... I don't know. I don't know. I, I had a full board. Um, but, you know, I easily could... You know, I could have summoned, like... I literally could have summoned in the end of the link zone. So, I don't know why Dueling Book did this. And it sucks because I can't get my Omega back. And I do not know what to do. <laughs> and my opponent reveals... That he is playing that Trickstar deck and look at his hand. Two chain summonings, two ties of the brethren that he can't do anything with. But you know what? We're not gonna let that get us down. We're just gonna just use the West name. We're just going to go into our Minerva like we would already have done. Sadly, I, I still don't understand what the fuck happened to my Omega. Then he tells me to switch the zone because uh because of um I already claimed the other. I don't know. I don't know anything about that. I thought we can just use both. I I don't know. It doesn't really matter which one I use, but uh, yeah. So that's what I did. Then, as you can see, I milled the pretty good. I milled a white princess, a um, what's the name? A lady in white. Uh, that the name, right? Is that the name? Jesus Christ! I can't believe I don't know the name. It is lady in white, right? Yeah, yeah. The lady in white, and then already had a Mizuki. So that's just even better and still couldn't get the omega back so that was just crazy but you know we do end up winning the game because as you can see he did not have anything so that's uh what trick stars and stuff like that they're not really i guess consistent a lot of people have been saying they're not consistent but shit i mean every time i played trick stars they pretty much went off on me and i couldn't really do anything about that so yeah thank you guys for watching i hope you guys did enjoy the video because i mean it really wasn't a back and forth but hey i can't control what my opponent draws and you know that's that so thank you guys for watching and if you would like to support the channel all i ask if you guys can click and add to help support it and that would be enough for me so thank you guys very much and we have a one more duel today and yeah stick around it'd be right out <laughs>